What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at the hover and focus effects for PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the hover and the focus effect for PyQt5. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the hover effect for buttons and things, also how to make them rounded and change the colors, as well as this focus. So when we click on this, boom, it changes color. And I've got this changed to red when you kind of click on it to type stuff. You can change it to any color you want. I am terrible at colors. I am not a designer. These colors are awful, but you know, I'll show you how to pick any kind of colors you want. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our terminal in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and let's run the designer. And I've got a new instance of this here. So let's create a new app. And we're going to be doing all of this in the designer today and uh, no real coding involved in this. We can do this just right here using CSS and style sheets. So I've talked a little bit about CSS and style sheets in other videos in this playlist, but we haven't gone into them in great detail and maybe I will go into them in great detail later on. But in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more of how to style things with style sheets. Now you can use most of your regular CSS in the style sheet. So if you know CSS, you can do this very easily. If not, run out and learn CSS. It's super easy. I've got a course on that. I think at codemy.com. You can probably check that out, but it's pretty easy. So let's come through here and let's just really quickly knock something out here. So we're going to need a button. So let me pull that over. And we're also going to need a line edit. So that's in our input widgets. And you know, we can resize this to anything we want. Same thing here. Make this a little bigger. Maybe we call this button exclamation point, right? Whatever. And we could sort of try and line these up a little. Okay, so first we want to style these things. So I can right click here and just hit change style sheet. And when we do this pops up. So we know this is a Q line edit, you can see right over here, line edit of class Q line edit right here. So here we need to type Q line edit, and then curly brackets opening and closing. Now inside of here, we could just do any sort of CSS we want. So if we want to change the background color, we just type in background, and then use your color. Now we could type in green here, right, you apply, boom, it changes green, you can use hex color codes, and you can use RGB values. So or you can come over here and use the little color picker. So uh, let's see, what do we want? Maybe something like this? I don't know. Good enough. Like I said, I'm bad at colors, you also want to put a little semicolon there. Right, so that changes the background, maybe we want to change the border. Right, so let's give this two pixels, we want to make it solid. And again, just come up here and pick a color. So I don't know, maybe something like that. See how that looks. Like I said, I am terrible at colors. Yeah, whatever. Good enough. If we want to make this rounded, we can give this a border dash radius. And this is just like I said, basic CSS stuff, right? So I don't know, make it 20 pixels or so. We apply this, boom, now it's rounded. Want to make it more? We can go 30 pixels. Okay, nice and rounded. Whatever you like, there you go. So now, if we want to change this color whenever we click on it and make it active, that is what's called focus. So when the focus is on that widget, we want to do something else. And to do that, we call Q line edit colon focus. And same thing, open and close in curly brackets. And then inside of here, maybe we want to change the color of the border to and make it two pixels and solid. And what color do we want? So come over here, I will make it sort of pinkish, reddish, I don't know, something like that. Click and apply, click OK. So now, if we come up here and go to form preview, and we click on this thing, boom, it changes color. That's the focus, right? And it's just that easy. So now we have the button here, we can do the same thing to the button. It's a little bit different because it's a button. But still we click on it, right click on it, click on change style sheet. And we know over here, you can see it says Q push button. So that's what we type in here, Q push button, open and closing brackets, just like always. And maybe we want to give this a background color of this darker blue, maybe, I don't know. That was this, I think. Apply, boom, there we go. That's kind of cool. Like I said, I'm bad at colors, pick whatever colors you want. Uh, we could give this a border if we want of, uh, I don't know, two pixels solid, 
And maybe we want the same color here. I'll just paste that in, we go. We also wanna give this a border dash radius to make it nice and round too. So let's say, I don't know, 30 pixels or maybe 20 pixels. There we go, that looks better, whatever. And maybe we wanna change the color of the font. So let's go color, let's make this white. Apply that, yeah, okay. Now down here, we can go Q push button colon hover, because we're hovering, right? And when we hover, we want the background dash color to be what? Probably this, well, we could do it any color we want. Maybe this light blue or maybe that pink red color that we used earlier, that thing. I don't know, whatever you like. And again, we can give this a border of two pixels, solid, and this same color again. So everything matches up, apply, okay. And if we click on this, we can still use the things over here. So if we wanna change this size, font size to like 12 or something, we could do that. If we wanna make it nice and bold, we could do that, whatever you like. There we go, same thing here. We can change this to bigger text, whatever. And now when we come over here and hit form preview, we can see when we hover, boom, it changes red. Text is a little bigger and that's all there is to it. So these style sheets are incredibly powerful and for the most part, you're gonna use your basic CSS that you always would use in regular HTML when building a website. So if you don't know CSS, I recommend you take you know, an hour or something and learn some basic CSS. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You don't have to use advanced CSS for this stuff. This hover is really kind of the most advanced thing you're gonna be looking at, right? And that's, we just did it, it's very simple. So uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeme.com and I'll see you in the next video.